Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. I take you wild guy. Here, let me go ahead and dim that screen down a little bit. With this uh, Nexus 6P, 32 gig model aluminum, silver, whichever color you want. Now, I had a little experience with it so far. I mean, I really haven't had an all day usage experience yet. But, just want to talk to you guys about what all I liked, what all I didn't like. And, um, yeah, I'm still on Project 5, of course. So, we're going to talk a little bit about that because it's got a new update. And, uh, yeah. So, the 6P experience is almost equivalent to the Nexus 6 because of the screen size and, you know, stuff like that. But the fact is, man, it feels more premium. I mean, of course it's premium. <laughs> but it, it's thinner. As you can see, it's thinner lighter well a, a little lighter but it's, it's on the heavier side um the camera is freaking amazing like the camera is freaking awesome uh, I, I took some pictures you can go check on my google plus account um for the other pictures i didn't take i probably show them on twitter and facebook for those of you that don't use google plus unfortunately um the the speed opening and closing apps has been amazing um of course you know i don't want to mess with the google now launcher i got another project 5 data sim on the way um uh, so i can have all phones on project 5 um yeah and um like i said i got the uh project 5 app update and i got coverage i got better coverage now so um that's what that's what's going on um, they're implementing US cellular now onto the network into the application so basically US cellular I think I'm not don't mark me right or wrong on this but I think because of the application you will get US cellular coverage just depends on the area I know it's only available in 23 states unfortunately but uh, yeah if I see it I'll let you guys know of course I do screenshots I've been doing screenshots like all week Check out this new wallpaper. Uh, one of my homies, Jose Santana. I'm just gonna call him Joe. <laughs> Joe Santana. He uh sent he uh, tagged me in the link. But uh, yeah, the overall experience. Of course, you know, I'm feeling the Google now on tap crap. But the overall experience has been great so far. Um, the speaker quality. Yes, the speaker quality is less. It's less loud. On this phone compared to the Nexus 6. The Nexus 6 thus far has the loudest speaker quality. Um, I, I can't say versus the Moto X Pure. I can't say that. A lot of people have been like the Moto X Pure has the loudest speaker quality. But the 6P, I would say it's probably right underneath the Nexus 6 speaker quality. Only the fact because it's that you have to turn down the volume. You have to turn down the volume like all the way up to to get real loud but then like when you get halfway you can barely hear it so samantha uh from youtube she's she's right about that um the camera the ca camera quality uh let me go ahead and double tap this the camera quality is pretty good um according to z max uh how android he said the picture quality the the clarity of the camera is it's a little it's a it's a little bit better versus the um the galaxy s7 edge and the galaxy s7 but not to say that the s7 and s7 edge camera is horrible it's just not as good in low light versus the 6p so that's another step and then and then again it probably depends on how you use the camera people I know a lot of people say the Nexus phone camera sucks, la la la. But if you go into the Nexus community, there have been a lot of users posting great picture qualities with their Nexus devices, even the Nexus 6. So I don't know what the fuss is or why people are bashing the Nexus devices. These are some great devices. And if you're looking for something different, like this Nexus 6P, you need to get a Nexus device. If you want to try Project 5, you got to get a Nexus device. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. This is what's happening. Google is wanting you to stay in their ecosystem and not anybody else's. Not to say that Apple is not doing the same thing because they are. 
why don't you think there's an HTC iPhone or or a Samsung iPhone? Why do you think there's only an Apple iPhone? Think about it, people. They don't want OEMs. I'm not saying Google's going that route, but if you want the purest stock Android um, experience, and let's go ahead and get into this battery um, issue. Now, um, I have been seeing some battery leakage. So right now, the Wi-Fi isn't showing up, and the screen is, well, I just really started using it off of full charge. But I did have some Wi-Fi issues going on. It was draining my battery. But right now, I have not seen any um, battery issues, battery drainage or leakage so far due to the Wi-Fi connection. Because earlier, I was screenshotting that the Wi-Fi was still like draining my battery 20, 30%. And I know I could have got like six hours of screen on time. But my last, my last update had four, four hours and 15 minutes. So anybody worried about battery leakage or battery life, you have to check your settings, people. It's not that hard. I mean, I know you don't want to do that and you don't want to go through settings and locations and all that crap. But go through and configure your settings the way you want it to so your phone battery can last longer than what you have had it on, okay? That's what's really important, knowing how to actually use the device instead of just, you know, just saying it's the best device ever, but you're not getting the best quality and performance out of it. That's what this is all about, people. So five days later, the next 6P is in hand. I have it as my daily driver. Man, I say go get it. I say go get it. The AMOLED display, the AMOLED display, however you want to pronounce it, it's, it's freaking up. Phenomenal, people. Like... This is the best Android device you could get right now. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. I apologize to my 6P users. I was bashing out earlier in the year about the 6P and I ain't like it. And I'm like, I'm sticking with the Nexus 6. And the reason why I said that was because a lot of people don't give a crap about wireless charging. And the 6 inch display. A lot of people don't care about 2K resolution. You know, all that bells and whistles. But and, and, and speaker quality, like I said, speaker quality is not superb on a 6P. I'm not even mad. You got to think about it. The the bezels, well, not the bezels. I think it's because of the the size of this 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 phone. It's super thin, like it's way thinner than the Nexus 6, and it's slimmer. It's less screen resolution. I mean, not resolution, but less screen screen size. So. All that goes into play with speakers and performance and battery. This has a 3,400 plus milliamp battery life. So it should last you almost two days depending on your usage. So this, yeah, this is my little cry. This is my little whine and rant about the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 6 and the Nexus devices. I mean, hey, people, it's all about how you use your device. So five days later, I say it's good. I say it's good. And I get a lot of feedback. At my job, I got a lot of feedback on my job. A lot of people, when I pulled it out, they like, what kind of phone is that? Oh my God, I've never seen that phone before. And, <laughs> and that's the same <laughs> response I get with all my Nexus devices. So for all you Galaxy Note boys, uh, you Galaxy Edge, Edge, S7, Note boys, fanboys, and iPhone users, and like, look, man, I mean, hate, hate the Nexus all you want to. Hate it, hate it, I'm being biased. Somebody has to be biased. Y'all biased against the Nexus. I'm biased against every other device out there because of the fact that nobody's giving the Nexus devices a chance. Period. Nobody. But so this is my little rant, man. I know I went along a little bit, but check out the 6P, man. And if you can get the 64, the 128, go get it. You, you won't be disappointed. I don't care if it don't have six gigs of RAM. I don't care if it don't have Snapdragon 820. The 810, actually, it hasn't even overheated. And, I, and you know, a lot of people was like, well, because it's updated to the version 2.0. Uh, don't give me that. Don't give me that. All right, so I'm on 5 Network. So if you want to know more about Project 5 and Nexus devices, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I do a what's on my 6P pretty soon. I got to, you know, configure it the way I want to and give it better apps and shit like that so stay tuned people it's your boy i take you out guy later